second disaster risk reduction working group meeting in Mumbai, which starts from 23rd to 25th May to prioritize disaster risk financing targets set by Sendai Framework for 2030 with the motto of One Earth, One Family, One Future. The second G20 disaster risk reduction working group focuses on the key topics like the global coverage of early warning systems for the hydro meteorological disasters, increased commitment towards making infrastructure systems, disaster and climate resilient, stronger national financial frameworks for disaster risk reduction, strengthened national and global disaster response system to address the consequences of increasing frequency and intensity of disasters, increased application of ecosystems based approaches to disaster risk with the hope of giving a economically stronger world to stand together against any disaster. Well, this will take you to the press conference and in conversation with Mr. Kamal Kishore, Member Secretary, National Disaster Management Authority. It's the second disaster risk reduction working group meeting. So, sir, what are the goals uh, of this meeting? So, the second disaster risk reduction working group meeting will build on what was done in the first meeting. It has five priorities, early warning for all, resilient infrastructure, improved financing frameworks for disaster risk reduction, improved disaster response systems, including for building back better, and finally, ecosystem-based approaches to disaster risk reduction. Secondly, of course, all delegates are in Mumbai with uh, So what uh, you would be showcasing them around Mumbai with the BMC and all that? Would you like to talk about that? We will, of course, uh, show them all the good work that has been done in Mumbai Mumbai for urban flood mitigation and for other disaster management work including the work done by BMC. Sir, after getting the consensus after this meeting with the G20 members, so what would be the implementation plan discussed like for the goals and the solution which have been achieved during this meeting? That is for the meeting to decide. Uh, the meeting will come up with uh, the initial building blocks of a joint statement which will be then released in Chennai. And sir, there, it would be any framework design like what the solutions are? We have to implement these framework in a particular uh, span of time? The framework is already there. The framework is the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. We are looking at how do we implement that framework. So it is really important that G20 countries as some of the largest economies in the world, you know, put their imagination together, put their initiative together to give a sense of urgency to disaster risk reduction efforts. The three-day meeting that we are planning will be divided as follows. The first day will be a side event on looking at different aspects of financing disaster risk reduction, financing recovery and reconstruction, looking at the role of insurance, looking at the role of social protection systems. So a comprehensive discussion on that. And then the formal meeting of the working group will start on 24th. It will be two day meeting, 24th and 25th. On those days also, there will be two side events, one on on risk assessments, how do we understand risk to our systems from disasters, as well as a focus on the role of private sector. There will be a private sector roundtable. We are here in Mumbai. And on the 25th, final day, we will have a discussion on building blocks of what could be the joint statement of this new working group which we will then try to accomplish and complete by the end of the third meeting, which will take place in Chennai uh, in the last week of July. All the members have confirmed participation. Most of the guest countries will be there. A large number of international organizations will be there. G20 has actually given us a great opportunity to India to showcase what it has achieved in the last maybe 18, 20 years in the domain of disaster management. And we can take our minds back to 2005 when the Disaster Management Act of India was passed by the parliament and since then we have come a very long way where we today we are seen to be among the leaders who are looking at disaster management and actually leading the way in many ways. Sir, my name is Gaurav Narula. I'm from the True Hunt Online. Sir, my question is recently Turkey was hit by an earthquake and India on humanitarian grounds helped Turkey with the sending NDRF and other medical assistance. And on G20 platform, the world is coming together. So is there any international disaster fund talked about so that in spite of helping each other on a country to country basis, a disaster international fund can help in these scenarios and seeing the global warming and environmental changes which is affecting the world 
all together sir thank you for that question in terms of uh, international disaster response fund there are already existing funding mechanisms such as a fund called uh, which is managed by the un called cerf c e r f central emergency response fund or facility i don't remember uh, so those are there so we are not discussing the creation of a new fund as such we are looking at how do we make our response systems at the local level sub national level national level and international level more and more effective whether it takes uh, better capacities better mechanisms better funding mechanisms all of that so it's not like talk about funding first and effectiveness later it's talk about effectiveness and see how do we make things effective ultimately i have to underline this ultimately we have to make the local level systems as robust as possible because no international response or national response is a substitute for strong local capacities here in india we have invested a whole lot in building our local capacities you know a number of our states almost two dozen now have a state disaster response forces you know ndma runs a program called aapda mitra which goes even local you know it goes up to district village level so ultimately what we are after is effectiveness and a key pillar of that effectiveness is local capacity in that it would be good to share experiences with other countries how they have done it how do they invest in local capacities how do they sustain it so that is the emphasis thank you